up, fans? The Kindergarten Rocks channel here. I'm uh, just here with a little bit of pain, but uh, anyways. Today's story is called The Best Christmas Pageant Ever. Chapter 4. The first pageant rehearsal was usually about as much fun as a three-hour ride on the school bus. And just and just as noisy and crowded, the rehearsals to this rehearsal this rehearsal through was different. Everybody shut up and settled down right away for fear of missing something awful that that the herdmans might do. They got their ten they got their ten minutes late, sliding into the room like a bunch of outlaws about to shoot up a salon a saloon. When Leroy passed Charlie, he he knuckled him behind the car, and and what and one little primary girl yelled as Gladys went by, but Mother had said she was going to ignore everything except blood, and since the primary kid wasn't bleeding and neither was Charlie, nothing happened. Mother asked, and here's the Her Herdman family. We got to see you all. Which was probably the biggest lot ever," said right out loud at the church. Out in the church, Imogene said. The herdman smiled. We called it sly and sneaky, and and there they said the closest thing to cri criminals that we know about, and they were going to represent the best and most beautiful. No wonder everybody's body was so worked up. Mother started to separate everybody into angels and shepherds and guests at the end. But right away she ran into trouble. Who are the shepherds? Leroy Herdman wanted to know. Where did they come from? Ollie Herdman didn't even know what a shepherd was or anything. That's what he said. What was that in? Claude asked. What's it in? It's like a motel, somebody told him, where people go to spend the night. What people, Claude said. Jesus. Oh, honestly, Alice Wetlick and grum grumbled. Jesus wasn't even born yet. Mary and Joseph was there. Why, Ralph asked. What happened What happened first, Imogene hollered at my mother. Beginning at the beginning. That really scared me because the beginning would be the book of Genesis where it said in the beginning and if we were going to have to start the book of Genesis, we'd never go through. The thing was the Herdmans didn't know anything about the Christmas story. They knew the they knew that Christmas was Jesus' birthday, but everything else was news to them. The shepherds, the wise men, the star the the star stable the crowded inn it was hard to believe at least it was hard for me to believe alice went when lincoln said said she didn't have any trouble believing it how would they find out about the christmas story she said they don't even know what a bible is look what gladys did to the bob to that bible last week while Imogene was snatching was snatching money from the collection plate in my class, Gladys and Ollie drew mustaches and tails all over the this the this disciples in the primary grade illustrated Bible. They never they never wanted to church in their whole they never want went, they never went to church in their whole life till your little brother told them we got refreshments, Alice said. And all you and all you ever hear, hear about Christmas in school is how to make ornaments out of aluminum foil. So how would they know about the Christmas story? She was right. Of course, they might have read about it, but they never read anything except amazing comments. And they might and they might have heard about it on TV except that Ralph paid 65 cents for their TV at a garage sale. And you couldn't see anything on it unless somebody held onto the antenna. Even then, you couldn't see much. The only other way for for them to hear about the Christmas story was from their parents, and I guess Mr. Herman never got around 
to it before. He climbed on the railroad train, and it was pretty clear that Mrs. Miss, Mrs. Herdman had had given up trying to tell them anything. So they just didn't know. And Mother said she had better be she had better begin reading by begin by reading the Christmas story from the Bible. That was a pain in the neck to most of us because we knew the whole thing backwards and forward and never had had to be told anything except who we're supposed to be and where we were supposed to stand. Joseph and Mary Joseph and Mary had exposed wife being great with chill ch being great with child. Pageant yelled Ralph Ralph Erdman. Well, that's that's that stirred things up. All the big kids began to giggle, and the little kids wanted to know what was so funny. And mother had the hammer on the floor with the blackboard pointer. That's enough, Ralph. She said and went on with the story. I don't think it was very nice to say Mary was pregnant. Alice whispered to me, but but she was. I pointed out and a way through. I agreed with her. It sounded too ordinary. Anybody could be pregnant. Great with child to, sounded better for Mary. I'm not supposed to talk about people being pregnant. Alice folded her hands in her lap and pinched her lips together. I'd better tell my mother. Tell her what? That your mother is talking about things that like that in church. My mother might not want to be here. I was pretty sure she would do it. She wanted to be married, and she want, and she was mad at mother. I know too that she would make it sound worse than it was, and Mrs. Gwent Lincoln, when Lincoln would get madder than she already was. Mrs. Wynn Lincoln didn't even didn't even want cats to have to have kittens or birds or to or to lay eggs, and she wouldn't let Alice play with anybody who had two rabbits. But there wasn't much I could do about it except pinch Alice, which I did. She yelped and Mother separated us and made me sit beside Imogene Herman and sent Alice to sit in the middle of the baby angels. I wasn't crazy to sit next to Imogene. After all, I'd spent my whole life staying away from Imogene. But she didn't even notice me. Not much, anyway. Shut up! Was all she said. I want to hear her. I couldn't believe it. Among other things, the Herman, the, the Hermans were famous for never sitting still and never paying attention to anyone. Teachers and parents, their own, their own, or anybody else, their trot, the trots of the trot officer, the police, yet here they were, eyes glued on my mother and talking in every word. What step? They would yell whenever they didn't understand the language and were mu and when mother read about there about there were being no room at the end, Imogene jaw Imogene's jaw dropped and she sat up in her seat. My God, she said, not even for Jesus. I saw Alice purse her lips together, so I knew that was something else Mrs. Wynn Lincoln would hear about. Swearing in the church, in the church. Well, now, after all, Mother explained, nobody knew the baby was going to turn out to be Jesus. You said Mary knew, Ralph said. Why didn't she tell them? I would have to, I would, I would have to told, I would have told him. Imogene put in, boy, what, what I have told them? What was the matter with Joseph that he didn't tell them? Her, her pregnant and everybody, she grumbled. What was that? What was that they laid the baby in? Leroy said. The man, the manger. It's that, is that kind of, is that kind of bed? Why would they have a bed in the barn? That's just the point, 
that's just the point. Mother said they didn't have a bed in the barn, so Mary and Joseph had to use whatever there was. What would you do if you had a new baby and no bed to put the baby in? We put Gladys in a bro in a bro driver. Imogene, Imogene volunteered. Well, there you are, Mother said, blink, blinking a little. You didn't have a bed for Gladys, so you'd have to use something else. Oh, we had a bed, Ralph said. Only Ollie was still in it, and he wouldn't get out. He didn't like Gladys. He elbowed Ollie. Remember how you didn't like Gladys? I thought that was pretty smart of Ollie. Not to like Gladys right off the bat. Anyway, Mother said, Mary and Joseph used the man, the manger. A manger is a large wooden feeling through for animals. What were the watered up clothes Claude wanted to know? The white, Mother said. You read about it? She wrapped him in, in watered up clothes. Swaddling, swaddling clothes. Mother sighed. Long ago, people used to wrap their babies very tightly in big pieces of material so they couldn't move around. It was, it, it made, it made the baby, it made the babies feel cozy and comfortable. I thought it probably just made the babies mad. Till then, I didn't know what swaddling clothes were either, and they sounded terrible. So I wasn't too surprised when Imogen got all excited about that. You mean they they tied him up and put him in a feed box? She said. Where was the child welfare? The child welfare was always checking up on the Hermans. I'll bet if the if the if the child welfare had ever found Gladys all tied up in a bra, in a bra draw, in a bra, in a bra draw, drawer, they would have done something about it. And and lo lo and 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 lo and lo and lo, the angel of the Lord came up upon them mother went on and and the glory of the lord shone round about them and shaza shazam glad shazam gladys yelled flinging her arms out of uh, out and smacking the kid next to her what mother said mother never read amazing comics out of the black out of the black night was horrible Vin, Vin, Vinus, the Mighty Marvo. I don't know what you're talking about, Gladys. Mother said, "This is the angel of the Lord who comes to the shepherds in the fields, and out of nowhere, right?" Gladys said, "I'm the Black Knight." Knight. Well, Mother looked unhappy in a way, so Gladys sat back down, looking very satisf satisfied, as if the. It, it, as if this was at least one part of her of the Christmas story that made sense to her. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judas, mother went on reading. But behold, they came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, "That's your Leroy," Ralph said, and and Claude and Ollie. So pay attention. What does it mean? Wise men all I wanted to know were they were they like school teachers? No, dumbbell, Claude said. It means like President of the United States. Mother looked surprised and a little pleased like excuse me. Like she did when Charlie finally learned the time table, times table up to five. Why that very close, Claude said, she said. Actually, they were kings. Well, it was a, well, it's about time, Imogene mur muttered. Maybe they'll, they'll tell the innkeeper where to get off and get the baby out of the barn. They saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worse worshipped him and uh, presented unto him gifts, golds, and
Franklin sins in Mary. What's that? St what's that stuff? Leroy wanted to know. Precious all alls. Mother said and and fragrant raisins. All Ollie and Jean hollered. What kind? What kind of a cheap king hand out out oil for a present? You got better presents from the firemen. Sometimes the herdmen got Christmas presents at the firemen's party, but the Santa Claus always had to feel, feel around the pack agents to be sure they weren't getting bows and arrows or dark guts or anything like that. Imogen usually got ceiling cards or jigsaw puzzles and she never liked them, but I guess she figured she figured they were better than oil. Then we came to King <laughs> Herod, and the herdmen's never heard of him either. So Mother explained that it was he Herod who sent the wise men to find the babe to find the baby Jesus. Was it was it him that sent the cr crumbly presents? All he wanted to know, and Mother said, it it was worse than that. He planned to have the baby Jesus put to death. My God, Imogen said, he just got born and already they're out to kill him. The Hermits wanted to know all about Herod, what he looked like, and how rich he was, and and whether he fought wars with people, he must have been the made king. Claude said, "If he if he couldn't make the other the other three do what he wanted them to, if I was the king," Leroy said, "it wouldn't let some other king push me around. You couldn't help it if." He was the main king. I'd go be king somewhere else. They real, they were really interested in Herod, and I figured they liked him. He was so mean he could have been the ancestor Herod Herdman, but I was wrong. Who's going to be Herod in the play? Leroy said. We don't show a hero in our pageant, Mother said, and they all got mad. They wanted somebody to be hero so they could beat up on him. I couldn't understand the herdmans. You would you would have thought the Christmas story came right out of the FBI files. They got so involved in it, wanting a bloody end to hero worry worried about Mary having her baby in a barn and call the wise men a bunch of dirty spice. And they left the first rehearsal arguing about whether Joseph should should have set fire to the inn or just chased the innkeeper into the into the next con county. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed chapter Chapter 4 of the best Christmas pageant ever. Thank you for watching, and we hope you have a good rest of your day.